Welcome to this NPTEL massive open online course on probability and random variables and processes for wireless communications. I am Professor Aditya Jagannatham from IIT Kanpur. So what is this course about? This course is about, it is a basic course on probability and random variables because the concepts of probability and random variables, they play a very key role in understanding various aspects of wireless communications. They play a very fundamental role. Let us look at some basic examples where probability is necessary to understand some of these concepts or some of the applications of probability and random process in wireless communications. For instance, if you look at this typical wireless communication scenario, I have a wireless channel in which there is a base station which is transmitting a signal to a mobile station and this signal is received by the mobile station. But there are a large number of reflectors in the wireless environment and these reflectors are random. These reflectors are reflectors such as large objects such as trees and such as buildings which are also known as scatterers. Hence there, is a, there are a large number of signals and these signals are randomly received at the mobile station. There is a large amount of in interference. Hence the received signal amplitude, the received signal power at the mobile station is random in nature. Hence concepts of probability and random process are necessary to characterize the signal received at the mobile in a wireless communication scenario and also the power received at the mobile in a wireless communication scenario. Let us look at another example of a typical digital communications, not necessarily only a wireless communication system, but any digital communication system. In a digital communication system, the information symbols that are the zeros and ones, these are modulated as belonging to a digital constellation such as BPSK, binary phase shifting, QPSK or PAM or QAM that is quadrature amplitude modulation. And these symbols are transmitted randomly. Therefore, we would like to know what is the average transmit power. Hence, one's need, one needs the concepts of probability to characterize the average power. Further, these information symbols are received in error. For instance, a information bit 0 can be received in error as an information bit 1 or information one bit 1 can be received as an information bit 0. This is termed as a bit error. And therefore, the probability of bit error, which is also known as the bit error rate, is used to characterize the performance of any digital communication system. Hence, one needs to understand concepts of probability to characterize the bit error rate performance of communication systems. Further, let us look at another important interesting aspect, noise. Noise is very important in any communication system. The signal to noise power ratio at the receiver is an important metric to characterize the performance. And this noise is a random process. Therefore, one would like to ask what is, what is the behavior of this noise? What is the average noise power? What is the correlation in the noise samples? To understand all these aspects, one needs to understand the properties and the principles of random processes. Therefore, this course comprehensively covers, is a basic course on probability and random variables. This is to introduce the students to these abstract concepts of probability and random variables from the perspective of wireless communications. That is to bridge the gap. The role of this course is to bridge the gap between the theory of probability and random process and their applications in wireless communications. So this course is going to be taught from an application point of view, from an applied perspective. For instance, some of the problems that we are going to consider are the random properties of the randomness of the fading channel coefficient, the noise behavior, the behavior of the transmission, transmitted symbols, the bitter rate in this wireless communication system, right? And this course is intended for all engineering students, for instance, undergraduate, postgraduate students, science students, management students who are interested in understanding concepts of probability and random process as applied in the context of communications and specifically wireless communications. So one can think of this course as having an applied flavor or as having a flavor of applied probability in the context of communications. As I already said, this course is suitable for both undergraduate and postgraduate students. And the prerequisites of this course is a basic course. So the prerequisites are very basic first year course in engineering or science in mathematics, for instance, uh, concepts in such, such as union, intersection, the complement, concepts of calculus such as differentiation, integration, and some familiarity with concepts in communications such as the transmit symbols, modulation, etc. All the strictly speaking, this is 
not necessary, I will introduce this as we go along in this course. So, this is a course on probability and random process in wireless communications and I hope this course will be beneficial to you and I hope you will enjoy the content of this course. See you in the modules in this course. Thank you. Thanks very much.